Now to a look here at COVID in Indiana. The state's hospital association says hospitalizations are up 143% since October 1st. That's a huge number. In order to relieve some of the strain on hospitals and healthcare workers, they're asking everyone to stay vigilant, keep wearing your mask, keep social distancing, and keep washing your hands frequently. There is some good news this morning. We're learning more about Eli Lilly's new breakthrough drug for COVID-19 patients that we told you about yesterday here on Sunrise. You may recall the FDA approved the new antibody treatment for emergency use. That's after months of testing and clinical trials. The treatment is not a cure. It's meant for patients with mild to moderate symptoms who have underlying or chronic health issues. Franciscan Health in Indianapolis, one of the hospitals that actually took part in the clinical trials, Eli Lilly began shipping out nearly 90,000 doses of the antibody treatment to hospitals across the country this morning. It is expected to manufacture a million doses by the end of the year. Well, a beloved basketball coach in Blackford County is retiring after three years with the Bruins boys basketball team. 86 year old Jerry Hoover says the main reason he's retiring is the coronavirus and the impact it could have on his family. Get this, Hoover spent the last three years transforming this basketball team. I mean, Blackford was one of the worst teams in the state, but by Hoover's last season, they were winning 70% of their games. That's the best winning percentage for any coach in Bruins history. Hoover says he's enjoyed his time with the team and thanked the community for their support. 